Hey, hey guys, Justified Violence here with another video. Today we have a card trick that's a little bit on the hard side, so you might want to shine up that social isolation and get ready for it. If you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing without seeing the rest of the content or without making an informed decision. So without any further ado, let's just... Copyright infringement. Oh, hey there, friend. Do you want to see a card trick, buddy? No! You, you don't want to see a card trick? No! So for this particular trick, you're going to need a little bit of a, of a deck of playing cards. A deck of playing cards, everyone's favorite sort of uh, object for magic. And we're going to be... Um, well, we're going to be having the spectator pick any card they want. So let's say the spectator happens to touch, uh, I don't know, this one in particular. Uh, you, of course, show this card to the spectator and uh, have them remember it. In this case, it's the, uh, the ace, the ace of clubs. Of course, I don't know this because I'm on every drug imaginable. So this card is lost and uh, cut, shuffled, mixed into the deck. And you offer to the spectator the ability to find their selected card again was just a simple cut we've done a simple cut before but we're going to do another one just like that and with that action you see we brought one card to the top of the deck the uh the i thought i put that uh, i thought i put that away the wild card uh, the joker that's kind of a kind of a weird thing this deck seems to be playing some tricks on me uh but that's fine uh, i think what it was is that the cut was not simple enough we needed to make it uh, more simple so we need to do one of these and then uh their card should actually be on top of the that's the uh i could have sworn i put that card away <laughs> ah all right uh this time i think we need to we need to be a little bit more simple with the cut so we need to do one of those and uh, that should actually uh bring their card to the top of the deck it's the wild it's the wild card. It's the wild card, Teddy. It's not their card. <sighs> That's fine because if we um, just take the card and rub it on the pocket, it actually becomes uh, the, their card. You see that? It turns into their card. And if we uh, look inside of the pocket for those uh, wild cards, well, believe it or not, those have changed into the aces. Into the aces. Uh, and now everyone's happy. Are you happy? I'm happy. You don't want me to be angry. Hey guys, this video is sponsored in part by the Pick Cake Magic Academy. Join today and get access to over 100 videos going over card and coin moves, tricks, and theory to get you from a beginner to an expert in magic. I drop two new videos a week and if you want, you could even join the Mentalism Academy. That's going to be a little bit more expensive, but it's still cheap in the grand scope of things. And you'll be supporting the channel and making sure that I don't die. So uh, join today and get your magic on. Hey there, friends. You guys are my friends. You guys are my friends, right? So for this particular trick, it's a little bit of an advanced sort of bit. You're going to need a little bit of a setup. Uh, today, we're going to be using these uh, refreshing Coca-Cola cards. You could find the link in the description below. Uh, a buddy of mine sells this. Go show him some love. So go. Uh, uh, so this deck in particular is going to need to be set up in a very specific way. And by very specific, I mean not at all. So for this, we're going to take the four aces, your favorite four aces, and your favorite joker. So the setup is as follows. You grab two aces and place them on the bottom of the deck. And then you have the two remaining aces and the joker on top of the deck, making sure that the joker is third from the top of the deck. Now, an optional little bit of a setup here is that you could have these three cards face up on top of the deck so that now all you have to do is just a single triple lift and you are into the actual effect itself because you're gonna need to triple lift and show this joker anyways. So might as well just have the joker face up, turn it face down, put it in your pocket and avoid a step. So uh, this goes inside of the card box and now you're ready to go, you're ready to go. So you're gonna walk around in your, whatever environment you're comfortable in or uncomfortable and you're gonna seek a participant. Uh, usually this is the hard part of any trick 
because um, most ordinary people avoid magicians like going to the, the gyno, going to the gyno. So uh, what you need to do is you need to find a spectator that you think is dumb enough to sit through a trick. And uh, once you find one, you go, hey, sir, do you want to see a card trick? And they're going to say, Aah! and you go, you'll be great for this. So you take out your deck of cards. And uh, if you notice, the Joker is going to be showing. So if you want, you could show the rest of the deck face up. You turn the deck uh, the other way and the Joker is going to be showing. However, because of the, uh, the separation of the cards, you are actually going to be lifting up on all those cards. So all of those cards are simply going to be lifted up and ready to be turned over. So you don't need any sort of a get ready because of the uh, nature of the cards and the way they were printed. If you have two cards that are back to back, it's going to be very easy to just lift up with the thumb and you're actually going to be able to lift up all three. It is going to take a little bit of practice, but we all know that you're down for that sort of thing. So you're gonna take this joker, you're not gonna call a lot of attention to it, but you do want the spectator to notice it. So just make sure that their eyes are looking at the deck. As you um, take the joker, you're gonna turn these three cards. So these are three, these are three cards. You're gonna turn them face down and place the joker supposedly in your pocket. However, guess what you've done? You've placed an ace already in your pocket, you clever cat. Yeah. Uh, informed consent uh, officer. So now you're gonna do any force you want of this bottom card. Uh, I personally prefer the Gary Ouellette touch force. Gary Ouellette is a wonderful magician, was a wonderful magician out of Canada. I believe he died in uh, late, uh, actually the late 90s. A wonderful magician and uh, he's inspired definitely a lot of work since, but he had this wonderful force that I've talked about many times on the channel. So you're gonna swing cut a portion of the cards over and you are going to keep a pinky break separating both halves, just like that. You see that? Are you capable of that? Good. Uh, so you're gonna keep a pinky break separating both halves and you're gonna spread the cards and have the spectator touch any one of these. Uh, a hot tip here is that some people wonder, hey, what if the spectator goes below your break? Well, in that case, you've done your job incorrectly because you should have told them, hey, do me a favor and touch one of these as opposed to, hey, do me a favor and touch any card you want. You see the difference there? One of these implies one of these, whereas anywhere they want implies they could go into your little dirty, grubby setup here and ruin your trick. So they touch any card they want. Let's say it's this one in particular. You're gonna square this card up with the deck and actually lift up at your break. So you're gonna square this card up with the rest of the deck as you lift up on your break and show them the force card. You notice that's not the card they touched. That's the card you want to show them because they don't have any free will when it comes to your magic performance. So once again, the spectator touches any card and notice that I'm retaining my break. So my break is still there. I'm squaring up the card and lifting up in my break, showing them my selected card in this case. So that is the uh, the ace of hearts and that's forced the bottom card. Now, I, when I bring the cards back together, I'm gonna maintain that break because I'm gonna double undercut that whole situation back to the bottom of the deck. And the, uh, the little bit of the context here is that I'm gonna be doing a, a series of cuts in my attempt to hopefully find the spectator's card. So the first one here, I just do this little bit of a simple false cut. This is something everyone's done, everyone's seen, but it's just uh, simply swinging one packet, lifting up at the other. I'm bringing in this uh, packet and grabbing on my ring finger as I use my dirty thumb to grab the uh, middle packet and then grab the top packet and then grab the remaining packet. And that's a false uh, false cut. That's, that's what I'm doing there. And next is just a double lift. So I like to do the dribble double where you dribble uh, all the cards apart from two. So these are actually two cards right here. And uh, I could show that uh, it's the Joker. Show the Joker and to yourself you say, I thought I put that one away. So I, I show the Joker, I put it back on the deck and I say, I thought I put that one away. That's kind of weird. So I take the Joker and put it in my pocket. Again, remember because it's a double, these are two cards. So really I'm placing the next ace already in my pocket. You see what's going on here? That's gonna be for the super twist. And now in saying, man, that's kind of odd. I think this deck is messing with me. I'm just gonna spread to the bottom and I'm gonna get a break above the second card from the bottom of the deck, which if you haven't noticed, is the remaining ace and then the spectator's last ace. So now I just get a break right there above those cards. I'm gonna double undercut those to the top of the deck. 
which if you haven't noticed already, puts an ace followed by their ace followed by a joker. So now you do any sort of other false cut you want, but make it a little bit more fancy. So this time, instead of just doing the standard one that I did before, I'll do a Troy Hoosier's pendulum cut, which is pretty much the exact same thing. Only difference is that I'm swinging back on the middle packet. And now instead of doing a double lift, you're doing a triple lift, son. So we'll do whichever triple lift you like, lifting three cards up as one and uh, show that you've taken the joker. If you want, you could do a dribble triple where you dribble the cards and hold back three cards, but that's, uh, that's up to you. It's up to you how you wanna do your, you insert your favorite triple lift here. So now uh, you're gonna show the joker, turn it face down and take the top card, which is the, uh, the last non-selected ace and place that in your pocket. Now at this point, you could do whichever sort of false cut you want. I like doing this uh, weird sort of uh, back swing uh, false cut just based on the same exact thing I've done before. And now I'm doing a double lift. So now I do one last double lift, show the joker and go, ha <laughs> ha, the deck's messing with me. I see what's going on. It's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy. They're putting quinine and fluoride in the water and that's converting, co converting us into sissies because that's what the government wants. They want to create an established order of sissies where we're not going to be able to fight back against them and they're going to take over in what's going to be a psychic war, the psychic war of 2022. So get ready for that. You know, you talk about whatever you want and you show the joker and uh, you again, remember to double, you're going to replace it face down and rub it in your, on your pocket in a PG way. Make sure it's PG because if not, then you get, um, copyright infringement. So you rub it in your pocket and you show the change into their selected card. In this case, the ace of hearts. And, uh, this is going to be a magic moment. So let this, uh, let this marinate, let this marinate. <sighs> Once that's done marinating, you could then show your hand empty and say, oh, how about the other uh, jokers in my pocket? Well, they've actually changed too. Uh, and they're now the four aces. They're now the four aces. And uh, you could carry on from there. You do whatever thing you want, but you've done an excellent trick, a little bit more advanced. And uh, you had a kicker ending that I'm sure Rosa Parks couldn't see. Rosa Parks couldn't see coming. Oh. So uh, thank you guys. Thank you guys for uh, sticking it through this video. It was a fun one. It was definitely a fun one. Uh, make sure to do all the things people do, man. Make sure to do that. That helps out the channel tremendously. I'm trying to trick YouTube into thinking that my channel is better than it is. Uh, but unfortunately, that's a little bit hard. That's a little bit hard. You got to fake the system. So you got to tell people to like your videos. You got to tell people to share your videos. And you got to be everywhere. You know, you got to be everywhere. So I'm doing my best. You guys got to help out too. That's the way apparently it works um, because there's no organic growth anymore. Organic growth doesn't exist. You can't just grow based on the merit of your channel. You got to grow based on how to trick uh, this supposed algorithm in, um, in, in your favor. Oh boy. Thank you guys. I'm going to go figure out different ways to uh, ingest a bottle cap and hopefully excre excrete a entire bottle of Modelo Especial.